This is the uh, fly wing GPS helicopter. Get ready to go up. Waiting for uh, GPS lock. There it is. And uh, away we will go. Fly wing 200. Blowing up and down in the wind today. Pretty windy. About 20 gusts. A lot of wind shear today. When I was landing my Draco on landing, it just suddenly dropped. And I was like, whoa. Luckily I had plenty of elevator. It's a heavy plane. I usually part of this around in my backyard or front yard. Lots of wind shear today. This helicopter does really well in the wind. It bobs around, sure, but it stays pretty stable, even though it's really blowing. Uh, my alarm is going off, but I have a 1500 in this, so it'll last about twice as long. I got the 1500 from China. It was made for this heli. Comes with a 500. Nice to have some more time on it. Fighting that wind. Look at it. Leaning forward to stay stable. Yeah, I like to putter this around in my front yard about half a foot off the ground. Fly under the trees and everything. Just make sure you don't go all the way to uh, 
return to home, otherwise it'll return to home through the trees. Of course, in this one, you can toggle return to home and it'll stop. On uh, one of my other helicopters, once it starts return to home, it, it don't stop. But you can steer it a little bit, but if it lands on your roof, uh, don't really have time to uh, steer it to the ground. I like that this has a very loud audible too that um, it needs to land. I had it out here one night in the dark. I put a blinking light right behind the canopy. I got a piece of Velcro. So I stuck an easy light on it so I could see it. I'm just hovering in the dark. We got 11 minutes so far. Now this controller also has a, a counter, which is nice. This also has a throttle up mode, but be advised if you do that, it burns the battery quicker. Get more power, of course, but. Same in the Horizon planes, if you can throttle up, you're gonna, gonna burn more battery. Uh, have to be aware of flying this around your house too because um, if uh, the house is between you and the uh, western sky it'll block the satellites and uh, if you lo suddenly lose CPS you're flying manual until the optical kicks in it has optical ground where it sees the ground but you got to be about this height for it to see the ground. Solid green line on the back means it's got GPS lock. Red blinky light means land now. Um, has a safety nut on the bottom. The blade sitting thing. Um, safety nut pops off. And although you do need a new safety nut, it saves the, the uh, it saves the everything, the props and the mechanisms and everything. They're getting heavy wind right here. Still stays, stays there. Some people don't like the bobbing up and down, but um, it's windy. You can see that wind sock over there moving. And that wind is shifting. It's not staying in one place. Now we got a crosswind. We are at 14 minutes. It'll start blinking in a minute. It 
does have return to home, home also. Um, you can initiate it yourself or if the battery gets low, it'll return to home by, by itself. You can toggle that off by to toggling return to home. But you better land it if it's blinking red. We are now at 15 minutes. As what it's called acro mode. Put in acro mode. Uh, you can set on your phone um, the head speed and all that, but it defaults to higher head speed in acro mode. And then there's a uh, if you quickly move like the stick left right, it'll flip upside down. But I'm not going to do that in this wind because it kind of goes crazy in the wind. Upside down. Getting there. And now it's almost 17 minutes. Seventeen minutes thirty. Eighteen minutes. Eighteen minutes thirty. Oh, there it is. Time to land. Eighteen minutes fifty eight seconds.
see it's a fifteen hundred. Lasted quite a long time. 